I love coffee ice cream, but for the most part, if you've tried one store-bought coffee ice cream, you've tried them all. They aren't that exciting and you know exactly what to expect. One of the beautiful things about having a home espresso machine is that you can make your own espresso ice cream at home. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to show you how to make an amazing coffee ice cream that your friends will absolutely love. So I've gone really far down a rabbit hole with this and I'm going to roast my own Ethiopian Yoga Chef honey processed coffee to a light medium roast so that I can get the most interesting flavor in my coffee ice cream. So if you'd like to see how I make coffee on a Jenny Cafe roaster at home, click the link at the top of this video to go to another video I made about exactly how I do that. FYI, for the Ethiopian beans I'm going to use in this video, I roasted them at about 240 degrees for about 11 minutes. Okay, there's a few things that you're going to need. So apart from having a home espresso machine, you're also going to need to have an ice cream machine. Now these are relatively inexpensive now. You can buy one that you just put in your freezer that cools down that you can use to make small batches of ice cream for about £15. And I'll put a link to one of those from Amazon in the description below. So for this video, I'm going to use the Rock Espresso Maker, which is about £150. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well. If you're anything like me and you really want to have a strong coffee ice cream, you can do two double shots and put them both into your custard base later so you can have a really powerful coffee flavor. Set your saucepan on a stovetop and heat half a cup of single or double cream and half a cup of milk together with some sugar. So you can have 30 to 70 grams of sugar depending on your sweetness preference. But an important thing here is that you need to put a certain amount of sugar in to get that smoothness as the sugar granules help to make the texture smooth. Heat that slowly and do not boil. Whisk the whole time. Once you see any bubbles at the side of the pan, that's when you stop the heat. After you've turned off the heat, put three egg yolks, a half teaspoon of vanilla bean extract or paste with a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch in a bowl and whisk together. Now what we're going to do is add about 20% of the milk, cream and sugar mixture into the bowl and whisk it all together quickly. This levels out the temperature of the custard and raises the egg's temperature enough so that when we put this into the saucepan, the eggs don't seize and turn into scrambled eggy goop, which would be gross. Add the custard mix back into the saucepan and start whisking. Turn the heat on to a very low heat and whisk constantly to make sure it doesn't clump. Heat slowly and keep it moving until it starts to thicken. What you're looking for is for that custard to coat the back of a wooden spoon and when you run your finger through it, it makes a clear line and holds to the spoon. Now it's ready. We're going to strain this custard through a sieve into a bowl sitting in an ice bath, which will cool down our mixture. Whisk once or twice in the 10 or 20 minutes it takes to cool down a little bit and once it's chilled you can plastic wrap the bowl and put it in your fridge for at least an hour to cool down before you put it into your ice cream maker. Okay, now the easy part. Follow the instructions on your ice cream maker. I'm taking this out of my freezer and starting up immediately. Pour in as much mixture as your machine will allow and start churning. Partway through the mixing, I like to pull parts off the side that might have become frozen to the machine. I use a hard spatula for this. Once it starts to look like soft serve ice cream, you're good to go. Take it out and put it in a glass bowl or a metal bowl that has a cover and put it in the freezer for at least three or four hours to set.
And that's it. That's how you make amazing espresso ice cream at home. So I'm gonna go and have this with my favorite way to have ice cream, which is on a Belgian waffle with some whipped cream. I really wanna hear from you as well. What kinds of coffee have you used to make espresso ice cream? Have you used Ethiopian coffee like me or did you try different varieties to get a different flavor? Please tell me in the comments below. As always, if you want to know more about having cafe quality coffee at home, please subscribe, comment, like, and share with your friends.